16-year-old Bartlett High School student is killed in a car crash. Three other teens have been critically injured. And WGN's Brona Tumulty has that story now from Bartlett. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, memorial for Alex Shervik is set to begin here in about 15 minutes at Bartlett High School. He died in last night's crash. He died at the scene. His twin brother and two of their friends survived, and they are all in the hospital. We went to a football meeting, and that's how we heard it. Some of the boys who play football for Bartlett High School speaking with us today about the loss of their teammate, Alex Shervik. It just sucks, you know, because, like, he was a brother to me, like we played football, friends outside of school. Number 74 was sitting in the passenger seat of a brand new Honda Civic last night when it slammed into the curb, then a speed limit sign, even hitting a utility pole before coming to a standstill upside down. All around nice kid, amazing personality. It all happened around nine at the intersection of Newport Lane and Devon Avenue. I actually got off the phone with him like right before the crash too last night. Alex's friend Kaylee Fellows only heard this morning about what happened after they spoke. I just started bawling my eyes out. Before that, Alex and his twin brother Adrian had been hanging out with the local youth football team, the Bartlett Raiders, who posted on their Facebook page today saying in part that the brothers had a wonderful time helping and chasing nine new players around the field. Words cannot describe how members of our Raiders family and community are suffering. Not only did Adrian lose his twin in the crash, he also suffered life-threatening injuries. I have a twin brother myself. I just, I can't imagine ever losing him. It's like the other half of me, you know, it's just... It's horrible. I feel so bad for him. He and the two other victims are all in the hospital. Now, as the start of the semester approaches, there'll be an empty spot at the centre of the high school team. You know the big guy that gives the quarterback the ball? He was that guy. And one less friendly face in the hallways. It was so crazy how many people actually loved him and how much like he cared for so many people. The principal here also issuing a statement today saying everyone is understandably devastated and crisis teams will be on hand at the school going forward for anyone who might need someone to talk to. A GoFundMe for the Shervik twins has already amassed more than $30,000 of a $50,000 goal. And again, that memorial for Alex will kick off here in about 15 minutes. We're live in Bartlett, Bruno Tumulty, WGN News.